Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be by far the most informative video I think I have ever done here on my channel. I'm gonna be going over some advice on how to find your perfect foundation match based off of your skin's undertone. So I know this is a really complicated topic, so don't beat yourself up about it if you don't understand skin undertones and whatnot because it is a really difficult thing to understand. And I don't even believe in the whole like, you know, look at your veins and that's your undertone. I think everyone has a combination of red, yellow, and neutral tones in their skin. So it's all about finding that perfect balance and um, knowing how to match a foundation to your skin. And what sparked the idea for this video is last week I posted a mini uh, Instagram video on my Instagram and in that video, I was watching the, the new Anastasia foundation sticks and there was a huge debate happening in the comment section about what my actual shade match was in the foundation when in the caption I had put like I was going off undertone and whatnot because in the video it looked like one color was my shade, but it wasn't, but everyone thought it was. So it's really confusing. I'm gonna go over that in detail. The foundation, you guys, just to give you guys a quick review, I haven't worn it too many times just yet, so I don't wanna give a full review, but it is an awesome, awesome foundation. I think if I were to compare it to the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation stick and the new Vanish foundation stick from Hourglass, the Anastasia one is like both of those combined. It is awesome, not too oily, not too matte, um, just looks really flawless on the skin. They nailed it with this foundation. I'm gonna wear it a couple more times before I give you guys a full review, but I am gonna be using it in today's demo. And also, one last thing before I jump into this video, I think this is the first video I'm uploading since I have cut my hair. So, I chopped all my hair off recently. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, um, definitely give me a follow on Snapchat and Instagram if you wanna be in the know and follow my whereabouts. Um, but yeah, I chopped all my hair off and I absolutely freaking love it. Huge shout out to Nick and Cassandra at Sally Hirschberger. They did an amazing job. I'll link them down below as well. And before I start blabbing, let's jump straight into today's video. Before I jump into swatching the foundations and going into detail on how to find your color match, I wanna talk a little bit about my specific undertone while I don't have any makeup on. So interesting fact about me is that whenever I have a celebrity makeup artist or any artist in general match my skin, they're always stumped. So this is one of the reasons why you guys always see me mixing my own foundation shades. I never tend to really just use one specific shade of foundation. And that's because my skin tone, even though, like if you look at it right now, I guess you would say it's like a light olive, but it tends to get complicated when finding a perfect foundation match because most foundations land in the yellow, neutral, or warm range. And my skin is actually a combination of the three, but it is not strictly neutral. So whenever I try and use a foundation that is neutral and has a combination of all three undertones, it makes me look really gray and dead. <laughs> but overall, I would label my skin as a pale olive, which to me is like one of the hardest foundation shades to even find, which again goes back to the reason why I'm always mixing foundation shades. Usually when you look at foundations in the light to medium range, I feel like a lot of them tend to look really pink on the skin. Um, so yeah, matching up foundation is a little complicated. I wish I could give you guys like a really straightforward answer like, this is how you match your foundation. But honestly, I think it just takes a little time to really get to know your skin's undertone and know what foundation colors and tones work best for you. So now that I've shared some important details on my own skin tone, I'm gonna jump into swatching the Anastasia foundation sticks. This is the light range from the collection. So again, even though I translate pretty dark sometimes, I am a light to medium skin tone. So as I'm swatching these, I'm also gonna go over undertone a little bit more as well as go over why I chose the shade I did for myself. So I'm gonna be swatching these in the same order that I did in the Instagram video. So I'm gonna start off with beige. So I'm gonna start furthest back and I always like to start pretty high just to make sure I hit all the points of the face. So high point, middle of the face, jawline, and down to the neck. So I usually go all the way down here and stop. You can keep going down too, but I always like to match my foundation to my body, not necessarily my neck, because I feel like my neck is really light. But still, you can take it down, stop, and then swatch the neck as well. So I'm gonna do it for the purpose of this video. So this is beige, and beige is a beige foundation, but you can see it has a yellow undertone to it. 
This one, to me in the video, looked like it matched me the most, but when I applied it all over my face, it didn't look right. So that's why I didn't choose beige. But beige has a neutral yellow undertone. Not too yellow, not too warm, not too neutral. Yellow, neutral undertone. So next I'm gonna be swatching natural, and this is the one that started the whole debate on both my page and Anastasia's page. Everyone was like, why didn't she choose natural? It blends into her skin. But I'm gonna have you guys take a closer look at it. So. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it first. Same thing, I'm gonna start up high and drag it down. And I'm adding a good layer just so that the swatch is really, you know, obvious. So this is natural. This is a very neutral foundation. And I'm not looking in the camera because I'm looking at myself in the monitor as I'm talking so I can like really describe the color to you guys. This is so neutral that if I were to blend this all over my face, which I'm gonna do that in the next section of this video, I would look really grayed out. I would look washed out, gray, dead. The best way I can describe this is if you're ever talking to someone and you notice that their face, not that the foundation is the wrong color, but it looks muddy, like muddy and just their face looks like a little bit dirty because you know that their foundation shade is off. That's usually what you get when you do like uh, a foundation that's graying out your skin. So this is too gray and you can see it. It's just, it's interesting because in the Instagram video and in the photos, this looks like the perfect match from a first glance and from far away. But when you look up close, you can tell it's too neutral. Moving on, I'm gonna be swatching Warm Natural. And if I had to choose one shade, this is the one that I decided matched me the best and I'll explain it a bit. Just look at the coverage. You see how I just covered that blemish? <laughs> so again, at first glance, Warm Natural doesn't look like it would be my color. It still looks like natural would be my color, but let me just do this for you guys for a moment. I'm gonna scoop back. And now look at all three shades in comparison to my body. Look at, this one looks too light. Natural looks gray, especially look at it next to my shoulder. And warm natural blends in with the rest of my body. So it's really important when you're getting matched at a store to take a step back. Don't hold the mirror and look this close and be like, yeah, I think that's my color. Because even when I'm looking at it like that, this is just way too gray. But I, I notice a lot of people do that when they're in stores, they grab it, they look really close at the area where the swatches are, but they don't take a step back and really examine the swatches in comparison to your body. So make sure you're doing that and make sure whoever is swatching you at the store, pick out your maybe like your top two shades and have them blend it out across the entire one side of your face I've worked for many brands, you guys, Bobbi Brown, Armani, YSL Beauty, um, MAC, NARS, basically every brand you can think of. I would never just swatch someone and tell them that was their color. I would pick the top two and blend it across their entire face to really show them what their actual color was. So keep that in mind when you go to get matched in store. And if you're someone that works in a store, Make sure you're doing that for your client because trust me, it helps them out a lot and they appreciate the help so much more. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the last one before I ramble on some more. So this last one I'm swatching is Cool Beige and this one is going to obviously be way too light for me, but I'm gonna swatch it anyway. So Cool Beige is a really pale yellow and what's really interesting is that if you were to read the description of the color of a foundation, this is what people would match me to because I'm a pale yellow, but look at how light it is. So this is one of the problems I tend to encounter when you wouldn't think to match me to warm neutral because you hear warm neutral and you think red, but warm neutral does have a good balance of yellow in it, um, in with the warm, completely neutral, and then a yellow foundation or beige yellow neutral foundation. So now I'm gonna go ahead and blend these out. I'm just gonna forget about this first one because we already know that's not my color, but let me just grab a foundation brush and start blending these out so you guys can see how to further match your foundation. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by blending out beige, all these baby hairs or sideburns are pissing me off, they're getting everywhere. And you can see it's blending in really well with my face and my neck. 
but just look at the center of my face. It has a lot of red, which is why it's not gonna work everywhere else. And before I blend out natural, you can see how beige matches into my neck and now natural in comparison to beige looks too dark. Interesting, right? So now I'm gonna blend out natural. And finally, I'm gonna blend out warm natural. So again, we're ignoring cool beige because it's too light, but now you can see all three of them blended out and see how natural is just looking gray. It's hard to explain the color, it just looks off. Beige is too light and warm natural is going to blend with a majority of my face and body. So now I'm gonna again step it back and you can see which one matches with the rest of my body, which is warm natural. Beige looks light now, natural looks gray and right now it's really hard to tell because they're in swatches and in stripes next to each other so to the naked eye it gets a little confusing when you see those colors all lined up against one another so what i'm going to do next i'm going to wipe this off and then for the sake of the instagram video i'm going to apply natural to one side of my face and warm natural to the other side so on this side i'm going to be applying natural and i'm going to go kind of like not heavy-handed with it but just a little more and then on this side, I'm going to be applying Warm Natural. So just to remind you guys again, on this side I have on Natural and on this side I have on Warm Natural. And it's really hard over video and through camera, but you can definitely see it in person. Natural just, it looks dirty on my skin because it's too neutral and if you were to look at me from a distance it just looks a little gray whereas warm natural is more so brightening it matches all parts of my skin tone on my face so even the areas that are a little more red it didn't gray them out and it also matches my body really well um, i wish you guys could see this in person because it makes more sense but definitely take a really close look whenever you're comparing two different foundation shades Look at your neck, look at your body. And my final conclusion, Warm Natural is my color. So I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna even out my skin tone and apply the one foundation shade all over, put on a little makeup, and then I'm gonna wrap it up with all of my essential tips that I can give you guys for when you go into the store to get your perfect foundation match. All right, you guys, I'm back. I now have Warm Natural all over my face. I also apply a little more makeup. How amazing is this lip color? This is to Tulip to Quit from Wet n Wild. I know you guys will ask, and just so you guys know, I always include that information, like whatever lip color I'm wearing, if it's not a part of the tutorial, in the description box. So make sure to check that in case I don't mention it in the video. It's usually always down there. If not, remind me in the comment section. So now I'm just gonna give you guys sort of like a summary of all the tips I can give you when going out to find your best foundation match. My first tip is to do the stripe test like I did in the beginning. From there, pick out the best one to two shades that you thought looked the best on your skin. From there, blend it out to see how it looks on the rest of your skin. Definitely apply it all over your face. Take the time to do that. I know a lot of us are in a rush and we hate doing that when we're in the store, but me personally, I would always go into like a Sephora or an Ulta or a MAC um, with no makeup on just so I could find my perfect foundation. So apply it all over. Take a step back, see how your face looks in comparison to the rest of your body. Does it look gray? Does it look muddy? Does it look too dark? And trust me, you guys, I'm not perfect. I make the mistake all the time of doing one that's like too pink or too dark. And I don't really notice till I get in the car and I look in like the natural sunlight and I'm like, whoa, what color did you put on your face today? <laughs> which leads me to my other tip, which is to, if possible, look in the natural sunlight. So if you're in a mall that is indoors, take a moment, walk outside, Look at yourself in the mirror because it makes a huge difference versus looking at yourself inside store lighting, which is usually awful. Even Sephora, I'm like shocked that their mirrors and like their little like gondolas where you get your makeup done, like the vanity, the lighting in there is so bad. It's really hard to tell what your actual color is in there. So use natural sunlight to your advantage. In terms of figuring out your own skin tone, the best thing I can say is to just really examine your skin. The whole like check your veins for your undertone, I'm like, with that, I don't really understand. I'm sort of, sort of like looking at my veins like, well, they're blue. So my red undertone, I don't know. So I don't really um, 
go by that. Just really examine your skin. I think it just takes time to eventually nail it because when I first started, I was pretty bad at it too. So over time, you will eventually get better at it, I promise. And I think that pretty much sums up everything I have to say. I really hope you guys thought this video was helpful and informative. My goal was to just really help you guys find your perfect foundation match. I wish I could see you guys all in person and help you. I know a lot of you guys send me messages asking um, what I would think is your best foundation match. And honestly, it's so hard to do it over a photo. I really have to look at someone's skin in order to match them. So I hope this was helpful. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I see you in the next one. Bye guys. Very minimal creasing with this concealer. If you're in the market for a new concealer or are tired of using one that you have always used, I definitely recommend getting this one on your next purchase.